All right, my name is Gage Cornelius, and I'm here to submit my my dynamic hierarchical high menu. Um, so let's get started. It's completely dynamic. You just set a few um, variables, array of the list of the things you want, whether it's um, this that particular menu is one that redirects to another menu or if it's one that actually executes an action. So in this case, the menu that we're in currently goes to another one. So change firing option, projectile color, and projectile shape. Have a look at what this looks like. By the way, this also has controller support. So fire. the right trigger on the controller it fires on change things around let's make this all projectiles capsules and shell burst it only once, it times automatically. If I hold it down, it's not keep firing. Let's see about cubes, the automatic fire. Once, it's once. If I hold it down. But it's a pretty easy system, and um, it, it's actually very possible to take one array or, you know, one list of, say, colors and be able to use that same list of colors for different things. So. It's actually minimal work compared to that. It's just what one might think. So, like I said, there's two types of uh, uh, I guess lists, the ones that redirect to another one, menu that redirects to, to another menu, and the ones that execute things like uh, how the type of firing, the colors of my projectiles, shapes of my projectiles, and um, yeah, that's all. The work done there is very minimal. So, 